Anatomy books and atlases are great, but they can only show you one view of the body at a time. The human body is layered and tightly packed, like a burrito, but you can't view all of its individual parts as they are. That's where our new database subscription, Anatomy.tv, can help. This resource allows you to view the body's component parts in context, and in an interactive way. You can find it under our A to Z Databases page, under A. When the website loads up, you'll find the main materials at the center of the page. Functional anatomy is a good place to start. Clicking this opens a new window with a different interface. The icons on the left-hand side are the menu for this page, and they offer different kinds of content and options for accessing it. The Views menu at the top allows you to see 3D views of the human body. Using the menus, you can zoom in to specific parts and see 3D models of the human body that you can move and click on. Clicking on the component parts of the body allows you to get more information about that piece. The buttons below the image allow us to separate the different layers of the human burrito, allowing us to view them in specific detail. Even after selecting what parts you'd like to see, you can still rotate and flip the model as you wish. You can also zoom in for a closer look at the fine details. The images you'll find under the Slides icon are more static. They include 3D models and 3D model cutaways, as well as actual photographic specimens. And by that I mean they are real photos of real specimens yet the individual component parts can still be highlighted and clicked. Under the Movies icon, you can see videos of the body in motion. The animations under the Animations icon, however, are not as static and allow you to pause and actually click on the individual parts of the body again. The Anatomical Structures icon allows different ways to browse and view the body. Plus, there's an A to Z index to browse anatomy by name. This listing includes all the different content types available. The remaining menu options provide ways for you to save your content or share it with others. The Save icon allows you to download a copy of the text or the image that you're looking at. And finally, settings are under the cog at the bottom of the page, and that allows you to change the color of the highlight, the background color, and other options. Back on the main anatomy.tv page, there are other things that we can view. Each one of these opens up an interface that is similar to the one that we saw before, but somewhat different. That's because these are made to focus on a specific part of human anatomy or human biology. Just as before, there's an icon menu on the left-hand side of the page, and you can browse through different parts. Again, this may include interactive elements. This database also allows you to explore the microscopic biological elements of human anatomy, as well as ideas related to it that are a bit more conceptual. Anatomy.tv also includes quizzes and tests that you can use to help you study. Back on the anatomy.tv homepage, as you might guess, there's a search option. If you need more assistance learning how to use anatomy.tv, you can look for help for more instructions, or even have a look at their weekly webinars. But you can also contact us here at the library. Thanks for listening.